uh, is this just unique here or do we find the same kind of layers, maybe not the same layers, but the same kind of layers all over the world? We do. We find uh, similar layers to the Vermilion Cliffs over in Europe hmm. and elsewhere. Let me try to get my mind around this because we're talking about uh, the globe is now covered in some cases with, what, up to three miles thick of sedimentary layer. Right. And that thick uh, set of sedimentary layers all around the globe what does that tell a geologist? Uh, it's a deep flood, uh -huh. and, it's, and it's over the continents. And um, that is uh, uh, something completely extraordinary, okay? But, you know, the story that we were told is that the ocean uh, advanced and retreated over the North American continent 17 different times yeah, to, to make the 15,000 feet of strata that we see right here in the uh, Grand Staircase. Is that, is that the continent rising and sinking? Is that how that It happened? could be the continent rising and sinking and the ocean floor uh, deepening and, oh. and whatever. Uh, it's kind of a, a, a hard to imagine story with, you know, a sustained over hundreds of millions of years as, as that type of thing's going on. What's really bothers me is the character of the sediment that we see mm -hmm. here. The sedimentary rocks do not have the character of a river delta or a reef or a beach. The beach deposits are quite different than the sands that we see over here. And so things just look different. And uh, that story of the calm and placid sea is kind of junk food for my brain. It doesn't work in explaining rock. Okay, and what I need to look for is the real uh, catastrophic process and, and co uh, uh, colossal water process that formed these rocks. Mm -hmm.